Well, we're back out in the shop again. Uh, it's a bit of a relief to have that headboard finally out of here. So it's in place in this, on the bed in the spare room, which is a good thing. So it's a little bit cooler today. It's actually down to about 30 degrees in the shop, which is uh, quite an improvement. And about 26 outside in the open air. So I think we're going to head down to the bush and see if I can do a little more cutting to uh, get ready to get some more rails up here. So I'm still having quite a bit of trouble with tendonitis in my right elbow. I've got my brace on. I'm going to try something a little different today. Apparently one of the uh, big causes for this has been the use of the big machete at chopping limbs off. So I do have one of my machetes with me and it is razor sharp so it should cut fairly easily. But I'm going to take my uh, small DeWalt Sawzall with me down there. It's battery powered and I'll put a really coarse blade on it. And instead of all the chopping that I've been doing, I'll uh, try using the Sawzall for taking some of these limbs off. Hopefully that'll make it a little easier on the elbow. I love my DeWalt 20 volt max power tools. They work really well. So we'll slap a big battery in here, put the course's blade on I've got, and uh, take it down with us. So let's get the ATV in here and get it loaded up and ready to head down to the bush. Okay, we're down in the bush, got the saws all set up and ready to go, so let's do some cutting. The temperatures come down a bit, but boy oh boy, it's still pretty humid out here in the bush. So one of the nice things about my little DeWalt battery power chainsaw is that it's quiet, at least very quiet compared to the gas powered ones. So I get down to the smaller things, trimming and whatnot, and cutting my lengths. I can do that all with the electric chainsaw. And it does quite a nice job, as long as you keep it really sharp. So one, of, one of the things that's important to me out here is to clean up. Uh, to make sure there's no mess left behind by me and to clean up some of the other fallen crap that's uh, built up over the years just to take a little better care of my forest out here. So it's a long, slow process, cutting things down bit at a time, 
doing a really good cleanup afterwards and cleaning up in the area as well. So we're getting there, we'll keep cutting. Quite a bit better. So the idea is to make these wood dumps where I can pile the stuff up and my thought is that from there it will better compact down with the snow through the winters and that type of thing and it will uh, compost much better basically making a compost pile rather than having these things laying all over the place and making the bush partly unaccessible. I want the whole thing to be as accessible as I can get it. Heck of a lot of work, but it's worthwhile. I love being able to come down and walk through here. And it's getting better every time. All right, let's get back to the posts. Well, I think that's going to be it for today. I've got five, six poles cut, which is a bit of a slow start, but uh, for today, but I did get a lot of cleanup done along this trail. So that's a really good thing. I'm very pleased with that. But chainsaw is pretty much out of gas and oil, and so am I, along with being soaking wet. So I think it's time to pack it up, head back to the shop, and go find a beer. Okay, let's put things away. Well, we got back into the shop just on time. The rain is just starting. Well, it's another day out in the bush today. Uh, we're back to cutting posts and, of course, clearing up through the bush as we're going. I think on this new path that I've created, I want a little spot to pull the ATV off to the side. So I'm going to clean this area up, which needs to be done anyway. It's a bit of a mess here. And make room to be able to pull the ATV right off of the trail, allow me easy movement up and down with carrying branches and stuff when I'm, when I'm piling. And the other thing I've done is I've added the trailer to the ATV. So this little trailer is very old. We got this when we bought our first riding lawnmower uh, about 25 years ago. Maybe a little longer. But I've reconditioned it a bit and put a rubber mat in the bottom. And because of the amount of stuff I like to carry around when doing this kind of job, there just wasn't room for everything in the ATV. So the little trailer with the mat that I've got on the bottom just works great. I can carry my gear all over the place, gives me lots of room, nothing gets crowded. So it works very nicely. So let's get started clearing our parking spot.
Well, doesn't that work just a treat? Okay, let's take a break. This is quite the beautiful old pine hidden away back in here. Isn't that just gorgeous? So I made a quick trip back to the house just for a change in gear because I was so wet, but it doesn't take long before you're soaking wet again. But we're making headway. Well, that's pretty good. Let's head back to the barn. Well, here we go, another day at the office. one of the fun little hazards of working out in the bush. This is a small one. But nonetheless, if it hits you in the head, it could really hurt. Let's 
see what I mean? Well, it's been a pretty good day at the office today. My, my rail count is up to about 25 in this pile now, I think, which is pretty good. It's been a pretty intense few days uh, getting this path cleared and getting these trees down and limbed and everything and keeping it all cleaned up, but it's gone pretty well. I'm quite pleased. I still have to strip these all of their bark, which is going to take a fair bit of time to do, but that's uh, part of the process, so that will be next. But for today, I think we're going to call it quits. Uh, it'll be an early day today. Today, uh, the Crew Dragon is undocking from the space station, and I want to see that happen. So we're going to pack things up and head back to the shop get a shower, a beer, and settle in and watch a little bit of science fiction take place for real. So that's it for today's video. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you out on the trails the next time.